This facility was built in 1936 as a co-op project between the University of Washington and the Department of Fisheries. In 1993 through 1997, this facility was refurbished and uh, to date, many other hatcheries throughout the state, when they're renovating, they come and look at this one. Behind me, there's uh, a total of 21 ponds that we have. Uh, six of them can handle adults and have mechanical crowders. We have the incubation room in which, again, we can do 30 million eggs. Uh, the eggs, we uh, fertilize them, disinfect them, where there's any chance of disease. We incubate them, and uh, they, and the, the, in the process, we separate the bad eggs from the good ones, uh, both initially with a mechanical process, a machine, and then by hand with big tweezers. And then they eventually hatch, and then we take them out to the ponds uh, and start feeding them. Among the benefits of having this facility in the community, uh, the obvious one, we put out uh, hundreds of thousands of fish for uh, commercials and sport fishermen uh, to catch. But uh, other benefits are we pass up to 10,000 chum upstream and uh, wild coho, and uh, those, when they die, they will provide a lot of nutrient enhancement. Uh, caviar can go for upwards to $20 a pound. Processed caviar, these are the eggs, made into what's called ikura, and the chums, uh, are going ex vessel for about 85 cents a pound uh, and they are used for smokeries, in fillets, portions, etc. So it's a very viable product. When uh, we plant the broodstock fish, we take them out to the lakes and seeing the kids, is, when we put fish this big, they just go, wow! To me, that's the best paycheck ever.